Hey, I'm taking uh, a break from my weekend uh, gardening project and um, it's at the last little bit and I'm, I don't want it to end. You know, it's like when you're at a really, you're reading a really good book and when you're getting towards the end, you start to already be sad that it's going to be over, the story's going to be over. So that's how I feel about my gardening project. But I wanted to share something with you that, um, that I thought would be interesting. Um, two weeks ago, I was at my tennis clinic and the pro mistakenly called this lady by someone else's name. And her response was, oh, it's all right. She's, um, she's in her 40s, so I'll take that. And all the other women, because it was just women, and I was probably in the youngest, me in my mid-50s was the youngest of, of probably seven or eight women. And all of them murmured something to, in, in agreement, in understanding of what she meant, you know? That if they could, they would shave off a good 20 years off of their years as well, too. And I found that interesting. And then it made me think, that conversation made me think about, it was probably about 10, 15 years ago, maybe even 20 years ago, uh, someone was in my house and they saw a headshot that I had when, when I was uh, an unknown model <laughs> in New York. And she saw my headshot and she said to me, you know, in a few years, you're gonna wanna take that down because you won't want the, the comparison about who you are um, and, and that picture, you know, as if part of aging was to like slowly just kind of put away all those younger pa um, um, pictures of yourself because you are so sad and mournful. And that's not my experience. And it can sound really arrogant. And I don't mean it, it's not my intention to be arrogant. It's not like I designed it in this way to not feel this way. But what I've discovered, what I think is the reason why I don't feel that way presently. And I don't, I also don't uh, disallow that the possibility that it'll come up, you know? Because my aging issue has come up in different ways. When I was confronted with dating with someone who was actually 20 years younger than me, my age did come up you know, because it was that comparison, but it wasn't as if I was regretting the age that I was. Um, and going back to why I think I don't feel that way is because I am so into this moment, into living my life right now, um, that I find that I live with much more excitement and optimism about the future because I've come to realize that you, you never finish. It never ends. If there, I don't consider myself, um, I don't consider a life a successful life is a, you know, where you nece necessarily retire, you know? I think maybe you retire from one thing, a profession, to then engage yourself in many other things that you were interested in while you were out there working and needing to work in order to survive. Um, I, I've already experienced a little bit of many uh, retirement in my life, so I'm not looking forward to that. What I'm looking forward to is continuing to grow, continuing to evolve, it, continuing to test out the possibilities of how much better can life be. And because I am engaged in that uh, focus, I don't feel... I don't feel like my aging is something that for me to be regret. There is not one year I would want to go back. Not for my physical well-being and not for my emotional or mental or spiritual. It's just there's not one day I would want to go back because for me every day I'm growing and I'm learning and I'm I'm becoming more and more of who I always wanted to be. I am the person I always wanted to be when I was growing up. That I can say. And when you have that much excitement about your life, there's not one year you're going to want to go back. And that's what I want to share with everybody. That's what I want to share with you is this concept that it can just get better and better. There is no age in which you start going that it's downhill. I mean, those are all freaking stories. They really are. They really are. Anyway, I'm having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I'm going to go back out and 
finish, but I'm sure I'm going to pick up something else that I want to do out in that garden. It's just looking so beautiful. I, I'm not really a gardener, so I'm loving this creative flow. Anyway, I hope you had a great weekend. I hope these words help you in some way, get you the thinking and pondering and shifting your, your ideas about aging. Thanks. Bye.